You're sitting at home in front of the widescreen TV. All of these chicks have spent all your money and then blown you off. So you go back, put your favorite porn in the VCR. Jacking off all over the place. What's the most important thing to keep in mind? Good planning. What you have to do is you have to fast forward through the piece of pornography you're viewing. Find the part you want to dump your load to and then rewind an appropriate amount of time. You know how long it's going to take you roughly, but you can't just chuck in a tape and start jacking off all higgledy-piggledy. Because what will happen, as soon as you start to come, they'll show a close-up of a big, fat, sweaty, Ron Jeremy staring right into the camera and going, Aah! A big bloated hand staring you right in the eye. You will have to wipe off your hand in shame. That can leave you sexually dysfunctional for years. I am serious. I was watching what had to be the finest piece of pornography that I have ever seen in my life yesterday. Classic, well written, well direct, good quality porn. Like we were weaned on. None of this commercial fluff that they throw at you. Nowadays, good industrial porn, like we had as children. You had that old fucking reel-to-reel -reel porn in your day. You're older than me, even. You remember that shit you found in your dad's closet? That's a reel-to-reel -reel shit. They, they could take that shit right off the wall with them when they went. They didn't even need no fancy DVD or VHS. They, that was a the shit. They sit in a fucking foxhole at the 38th parallel at Wee Jean Boo. You remember your dad's car? They just hold that up to the sunlight as the smoke peeled off the burning children. And you'd have to have your buddy in the foxhole. He'd reach around and jack you off because you've got to keep two hands on the film because you know exactly what frame you want to dump slop to. And then you'd have to reach around and you'd jack your buddy off. It wasn't queer. It's how you fought the fucking war. You kids are soft today with your smart bombs and your laser-guided technology. Back then, you reach around and you jack someone off. You don't fucking know. I'm watching a film of this caliber, and I get all wrapped up in the plot, like you do. And I ran out of tokens. So now I'll never know how it ends. Does the producer ever give her the part? I'll never know. Does the gardener ever really do the lawn? I don't have any idea. I don't even know why he's sitting on the fucking couch through the whole picture. I, does he even do the lawn? Does she do that thing right at the end where she goes, Come on, baby. I can... <laughs> uh,